Welcome to the higher Reiki activity, which is psychic surgery. And learn it deeply and just do it. Hello, all divine souls. Welcome to this healing channel. Uh, this video I have made especially on request from my friends who are living abroad. So this is especially I made in English. And this video is based on psychic surgery. This psychic surgery is a part of level three exercise. So if you have already done one, two, three, A levels of Reiki, then only you can perform this activity. Because uh, this psychic surgery needs a higher energy potential inside the healer. The healer must be at a higher frequency level. And especially if you are regularly doing your 24 points healing, you are balancing your chakras and also you let go negativity with the let go process. If these three activities you are doing, then please proceed with this very deep, very effective exercise of Reiki, which is called psychic surgery. Now psychic surgery you can do to alternate the state of your body part, internal or external or anything you feel like you have to do surgery on. You can perform psychic surgery on your mental plane and you can also perform the psychic surgery in your work area, work field. You can also remove blockages and fulfill the light to enhance your desires for the completion of your desires. So for all these purposes, we use this technique. Now, when this technique is performed, you have to be very much alert, being very deep healing done on yourself or on others, you are likely to be affected by some sort of negativity, which as exchange affect you at the first place. But if you are strongly rejecting or let going the negativity, then it will not affect you. So I always guide the Reiki healers to be very much aware of what is going on while you are performing, performing it and after also, after doing this exercise, finishing it up and then just be aware of the follow-up. So how to do it? This is done with your closed eyes because you have to travel very deep down in your higher self. You can also use freely symbols of your choice, but these symbols should come to you intuitively. Suppose if it is a karmic act, then you can use your nar. If you have to remove negativity, then you can use uh, Rama symbol. You can use any symbols you feel like. 
Now the very basic symbols which are taught in Reiki 2 are Chokure, this is energy symbol. Then Seheki, this is balancing symbol. And Hon Shazeshonen, this is the distant healing symbol. You can use these basic symbols also if you feel like. Okay? Now the first act of this, the beginning of it, is to increase your energy fingers. So we just clap straight or just rub it, the middle part of it, to energize this basic chakra, this minor chakra. Or you can have a clap three times and just feel energy oozing out. Then just expand all the fingers of your hand and three times when you feel they have grown, the energy field, the auric field of your fingers, just put one chokure at the end and then do it on the other hand with your all fingers closed like this and then put the chokure to protect at the end of the growth of your increased energy fingers. You can also slide them and feel they are freely flowing. After this, if you are performing on the body, then just make a gunshot or you can use any fine uh, crystal instrument like a master rod. You can use a master rod which is like this. You can use it. See? I hope it's visible to you. We also use this to cut the aura anti-clockwise on the part where you want to perform psychic surgery. Or if it, you are doing it on the mind, then just imagine the field of mind and make one cut. After that, if you feel you have to cut the skin also, then make another cut and open it with this. Then you can put it down and with your increased finger, just insert it inside and take out all the negative factors from there with your closed eyes. While you are doing it, feel in what uh, status or uh, in what form is the negativity lying over there. The texture, the color, the shape, the size, the thought, it will come to you intuitively. And then just, just push out, just pull towards you and throw it in divine fire like this. As we scratch, just bring it from inside to out and then just give it to the divine fire in Brahman. Okay? This you can do few times until you feel a bit light is there. And if you see there is hardness, if you see, uh, if you feel that um, uh, the person has enclosed the negative factors uh, behind the iron door or behind the wall. So you can um, just invite any apparatus or a boulder which can break away or, which, uh, or um, any machine which can just cut away the iron and throw it out and burn it in divine fire. 
or you can um, use any new technology which you have seen you can invite that mentally and just remove that negativity from the location see you may be performing on heart you may be performing on kidneys but you will not see kidney as kidneys so your eyes are closed and you when you are doing it you will just feel the negativity in any form it is lying over there this is intuitive so just go by intuitions don't go by logics because in reiki logics don't work this power is intuitively very strong so keep doing it for a few times and then invite any of the machine just call it a divine machine and use it and when the purpose is done just give it away to the divinity then comes to suck out with uh, the suction which is from your mouth like this so don't take it down your neck just hold it in your neck and throw it out in divine fire like this so just suck in negativity but please don't inhale it deeper otherwise it will become your part just let it go release it in divine fire because you know a uh, universe has created divine fire in the form of sun maybe the fire are visible or non visible to us but all the elements are there so fire is also there so when you burn the negativity in divine fire it is done so because with your thought this energy flows make it clear now as you are feeling lighter now after doing it if you are doing on particular part particular organ you need some divine uh, cotton just invite it feel it is on your palm and then you can just rub it feel that portion has been cleaned out you can give it to divine divinity every time you call anything invite anything for your help you have to release after the use with thanks and this is all going inside you you don't have to speak out so then just give it away with a thank and then invite any other thing suppose you need a tweezer so whenever you need something you just call that thing invite it use it and then give it that thing back to the divinity with thanks and all this thing is going in your mind mentally you have to do it intuitively you have to do it right you can now use some symbols if you feel like suppose you want to increase the energy of that person or that part you can just put chokure or if you want some balancing to happen then you can put uh, seheki or any of the related symbol you want only use one or two symbols don't just um, uh, pour so many symbols uh, that they don't work they get confused so only one two symbols are enough after you have used the powers of the symbol just have a feel that things are becoming okay you will get that signal so lastly you have to close the skin and ask for the suture or the divine tape cut it and then put it on that skin first and put chokure or apta udrika for protection then 
Just close the aura, put a divine tape, again protect it with chokure and udrika symbol. They are used for protection. You can use them and now heal with light energy. Now if there is swelling, then you need some cool energy. Uh, you can use green color, you can use blue, light blue color. You can use light purple, purple color. Or if you need some energy, if there is a depression, you can use warm energies like yellow, orange, red. Or if you don't understand anything and nothing comes to your mind, then just use pure white light. Just heal for some time until you feel relaxed in your hand. Nothing is flowing. The change of energy is felt when the whole process is done. It is felt in your hand. And then just thank the universe, your teachers, gurus, everyone who has helped you to come this way to this state. So thank everyone and thank that person or thank that organ. And then you can open your eyes. If you are a beginner, uh, doing a psychic surgery then please keep some coffee or tea hot drink because after this you will feel little down your energy level will be little down but if you regularly use it then there will be no need uh, to have coffee and tea because then you are used to and the energy supply is also very fast so I just suggest uh, healers to do uh, Reiki every day for themselves to uplift their physical and mental self and uh, uh, enhance your aura, your chakra energy, your inner energies for better performance. And uh, any other thing? Uh, I think. I made it very, very clear, I suppose. Uh, yes. Uh, one more precaution you have to take. That it should not be used daily. And if you are doing it on some other person, please make him know or her know that you are performing psychic surgery. It should not be done unknown. And it should be rewarded well. See, in Reiki, give and take is there. It is a principle, it is a part of a principle of Reiki. And it should be asked by a person. Then only you can give this energy. And you should properly be rewarded because. The person should acknowledge the value of this energy field. It should not be done in free. And it should not be done daily because the negative factor will be leaving the body. So what happens sometimes, people get confused that I have, re I have received Reiki and why something absurd thing is happening in my body why I'm not perfectly feeling all right, then you have to guide. As master, you have to guide that person that if something uh, unwanted happens or heaviness comes or, or, or pain uh, just to come up to the surface, you feel that pain, you have to let go. You must tell them to let go the unwanted energy. So this is all about psychic surgery. I hope you will get great help out of it. And next time, if you uh, need any help from me, please let me know. Put it in the comment box. I will read it and I will try to help you out. So God bless you. And uh, keep doing this. Make difference in the life of others. Uh, this is a good job. God always bless you. 
with your every kind act you have a wonderful blessings and this is all what i have to say i bless you too be happy healthy and all your desires are fulfilled thank you